Alright, I just remembered that there was a overworld shine we could have gotten a while ago. Oh, also... What do you want again? Hello! You want to work for me? I'd love you to bring me some fruit bananas. Oh, the worst fruit. That's fine. I'll bring you bananas so I don't have to eat them. Excuse me, lady. I need this. Uh, drop it. Drop it. Come on, drop it. Drop it. Drop it in the basket. No, don't throw it out of the basket, you dolt. No. Come on. Just... It should be easier to drop stuff in the baskets. <laughs> oh, see, she already got a new banana for us. We got a gorilla for sale. We'll give a gorilla for sale. <laughs> Mario's, Mario started the game as falsely accused of being a criminal, but now he's an actual criminal. He's just stealing bananas. Granted, that would count as petty theft and not grand larceny, but... Mmm, <laughs> bananas. Mm. I like the idea of bananas, but they're just disgusting. Hello, 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 thanks, sweetums. See, we get paid a tenth of a shine sprite to steal for her. Which means we're the good guys, right? Alright. I don't want to do this, but... We don't want to save all the annoying stuff for the end. It's time for durian soccer. Sorry, bro. Can somebody tell me why we aren't allowed to pick up durians? Oh, they're spiky. Nope, Mario's wearing gloves. Doesn't matter. Pineapples are spiky, too. Chili peppers would be more toxic to... Okay, you know what? It'll be easier and probably faster to do it one at a time. I, had n I have literally never been able to kick this across the canal to the open basket that we need to get it to. My friend uh, Tsunami has told me we need to do a football tackle on it. it up here. Okay, hang on. Mm. See, I'm not sure if we need to kick it to the left. I'm I'm afraid to kick it to the left. I, I it's gonna get it's gonna hit a wall and then the physics will not get in the water. But man, getting it up Nope, that's so annoying. Alright. We'll have to get it up here a different way. We'll, oh, we'll kick it up this way. That'll be easier. Yeah, if it was just like, I need a durian right now, that would be one thing. But it's like, nope, you gotta kick free over here for one blue coin. I'm assuming it's for a blue coin and not a shine sprite. Now, nah, doing this is only worth a tenth of a shine sprite. This challenge alone would tur turn people off of doing 100 shine speed runs. Alright. Oh, this sucks! Wait. You're kidding me. The durians despawn after a while? That's unbelievably stupid. That is unbelievably stupid. Oh, so I shouldn't have kicked them out of the shop then, is what you're saying. Alright. Alright, at least we've got a relatively quick way to get them over to that area. I hate how the camera's terrible when it comes to getting the angle lined up to knock it across the canal.
Lady, I hope you don't mind bruised durian, because these are de No! No. No, no, no. We're not doing that again. Alright, let's try to hit it, hit it from here. Okay, whoop. Maybe we'll just do a regular dive. Okay, that definitely knocks it far, but we gotta get the angle just right for that. That's so dumb. Wonder what durians taste like? From what I understand, because I've seen people cook with durian before on cooking shows, so apparently, like, once you cut open a durian, it has the smell and texture of rotting garbage. But apparently it tastes just mildly sweet, like a banana. I don't know why people would eat durian outside of desperation. You always went to the left side? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna try. That was the missing secret, was the tackle dive. I just didn't know that's how you got it up here. Oh! Okay, we also have to talk to the lady first, I think. Hello! You wanna work for me? I love you! You bring me some durians! Thankfully, her basket is on its side, because she recognizes you can only kick things in. No. <laughs> Gotta love the physics! And how consistent they are. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna get stuck on her. Somebody has been stealing fruit from the fruit carts. D-E-B-S alert. This is just fascinating. Ouch. And the only thing that the news is reporting on there, like, oh my gosh, did you know there's a Yoshi who's just hanging out on a roof? It's like, this is the only thing on the news, and you're, br you're putting out an emergency broadcast service for just, like, there's a Yoshi on the roof. That's kind of weird. He wants coconuts. That's a little strange. Who craves coconuts? Coconut's the thing that they, like, put in desserts randomly, and it's like, nobody really wants it, but we've just kind of accepted as a society that some desserts just really want to put coconut in it. And so we're like, whatever. Why did the hover not work? Well, this is one of those things I never did in Mario Sunshine, so... Alright, we're two down. I, I'm actually confident we can get the preferred one. But they're really bored. I'm bored! Let's make out an emergency broadcast service for no reason. Like, I don't know, if I was a news reporter, I'd be like, some guy is stealing durians from a, the local fruit cart and is playing a game of soccer with them, kicking them across a canal and smuggling them to a lady who doesn't want to pay for them. That's a much, much better news story than a Yoshi is on a roof somewhere. <laughs> yes, breaking news, somewhere a dog exists. Right. Yeah, okay, I guess when you when you jump out of a dive, the hover nozzle just don't work anymore. Here you go, lady. There's your free stupid durians. Thanks, sweetums. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. What's the score? Uh, 
Alright, now for the thing that I was actually thinking of before I got distracted by Durian Soccer. So I think I cleaned both of the bells. Yes, I cleaned both of the bells. That's fine. <laughs> Mario has issues. Well, yes, that is true. There we go. If you ground pound from a high enough height, your butt will explode and be able to destroy certain things. Mario logic. Alright, let's go back to a good level. Gelato Beach. No, I'm not being facetious. I actually enjoy Gelato Beach. With one exception. <laughs> it, it's true. I think in 3D platformers in general, your butt can be a weapon of mass destruction. Just like in real life. First up, we're going back to Dunebud Sandcastle Secret. Do the red coins. And also, I missed a blue coin from a Cataquack that's apparently only on this mission. Because of course it is. Gotta love how the red Cataquack gives a blue coin, and the blue Cataquax Quattaqua give yellow coins. Oh. One thing that I learned, I, I would never have found this uh, blue coin elsewhere. So, there should be a coconut tree around here somewhere. There we go. Um. Did I just spray the coconuts and they just vaporized? Is that what happened? Oh, I sprayed them and they clipped up to the top of the tree. Now that's funny. Music glitch. I'm not familiar with that one. I actually like the Wiggler boss fight. I think it's fun. Hey, bro. He's got a shine spray in there. Hey, do you see the jumbo juicer on top of this hut? That's how we make our special juice smoothies. By the way, was anyone out there in the surf cabana? Oh, blast it all! The owner must be walking with her son. Yeah, the nerve of her. No, my coconut! I wanted to drop the coconut in there. If you do, apparently a blue coin pops out. Oh, hey. Hey, everyone fell down. Oh, hunky dory. Well, that's probably the owner and their son right there. I appreciated the Wiggler boss fight, because he was actually a unique boss fight, not just like, it's another goopy piranha plant. No! Doggone it! Mario keeps going right up to the edge. I, I should probably just throw it up there, but I feel like if I do, I'm also going to miss. Oh, music glitch <laughs> opened the map after... Interesting. Maybe I'll try it! <laughs> I... I didn't think I was running. There we go. This level would probably be better if Turbo Nozzle was available throughout, like, the whole thing. Those large-billed cataquacks tend to be very territorial! So when they spot you, an outsider such as yourself, they go wild! They'll run up and hurl you in the air, but they mean no harm. I was gonna say, just like Canadian geese, but then he mentioned they mean no harm. 
Watch out for the red catacoax. Seriously, they can hurt you. They only appeared on this breach recently. <laughs> I don't know if I trust this. <laughs> yeah, dude, this funny glitch appears super promise. Also, you should press Alt F4 on your computer. All right. Do 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 do. Secrets are always better when you have flood. Collect the eight red coins before time runs out. If memory serves, this one's very easy. Like a lot of the red coins are literally just on the pathway that you would take to get the regular shine sprite. Nothing that a little huffer nozzle can't fix. I guess there's a time limit, which is a, maybe a little bit of an issue, but not that much. Uh oh. That's annoying how you can't re hover after you hover. Whoops. If, <laughs> if I could make some mild changes to Sunshine, I would definitely allow you to keep hovering after you stop a hover, provided you have, like, some time in the hover left. That would definitely help things out a bit. I would also make the blue coins less stupid. Yep, and the other red coin's just on the other side. Beautiful. No! Nice try, dumb sunshine physics. You're not getting the best of me today. Never played Sonic 06. Never will. So don't know what that's like. I've never played Sonic 06, but I've heard it's absolutely terrible. And I don't even really like Sonic that much. Mirror Madness! Tilt Slam Bam! There's a Wiggler just sleeping up there. How, how'd that happen? <laughs> alert! Alert! Just look at the top of the tower! Is that not an integral part of the design? Sonic is just so unbelievably inconsistent. Like, Sonic can sometimes be really great, but I feel like most of the time he's kind of terrible. Some weird thing has curled up on the tower to take a nap! This could be in danger of the legendary Sandberg egg! Dude, forget the Sandbird. The Sandbird is the worst. Like, the Sandbird is actually the worst. Actually, no. Sandbird is second worst. The Delfino Lily Pad Ride is the worst. Sandbird is second, though. Er, uh, is it? It's in the bottom three. Whoops. Here we are. Uh, Pachinko's definitely awful. I would rather do the Pachinko machine than the Sandbird. God, 
Gotta love the hitboxes. Okay, everybody talks about how annoying the Watermelon Festival is. Maybe I'm just forgetting about it, but I do not remember the Watermelon Festival being that annoying. Like, it, once you know where the Watermelon is, it's just like, alright, watch out for the Cataquax and you're good. Yoshi's Fruit Adventure is another one of those where it's like, it figuring out what to do is the hard part. Once you know what to do, it's not too bad. Alright, so there's a blue coin down there. There we are! <laughs> there we are! <laughs> Whee! Spring break! I like the theming of Gelato Beach a lot. Spray it to the edge, then ground pound the other side. Ooh, welcome, Proxima. Nice. Metroid Prime is a blast. I would definitely not object to let's or er, dreaming that eventually. Oh, hey, it's a little Noki. I'm so worried about the egg. Eh? We need to get those mirrors back into position now. N do we? Do we really? I forget if there's a blue coin on this platform somewhere. May as well check, though. Oh no, not the sandbird egg. I am so worried about the sandbird egg. So, like, are these weird Cataquacks and the Wiggler in cahoots? Or is it just like, oh, this is a, uh, very interesting... <laughs> Excellent! Only one area now remains! Is that all the height we get? That's- that's it? Uh oh, I gotta be mindful of my health. Uh oh, okay. Hang on. No, no, no. I gotta get off. Gotta find some coins. Those fiends up on the mirrors! I wonder if you could shake them off by rocking the mirrors. I'm work- I'm working on it! Sorry about that, Noki. I didn't realize that's what was gonna happen. Okay, we'll let- I like- We'll let the ducks sleep. Follow me. Thank you. Thank you, sir! I'm trying to be mindful of my health, yes. It's a bit important. And it should still remember that we sprayed off one of the ducks. This is the hardest mission for me, because I really like ducks, and I don't want to kill them. Okay! Thanks for ground pounding there, Mario. Alright, you 
Both go to the edge. Both go to the edge. There we go. Double prizes! Now the Wiggler just, like, breaks apart and falls down. You can't see those weird things as ducks? I mean, they've got duck bills. I mean, Cataquacks are definitely supposed to be, like, duck things. Woohoo! Yahoo! Not good ducks, but regular ducks.